Hey there, welcome to Golf Beginner World. Today I'm going to be showing you three reasons why you need three wedges in your bag. So important. So until now you've probably got your sand wedge and your pitching wedge, but you need something to fill the gap. You need a gap wedge. The first major reason why the gap wedge is so essential is the following. I won't talk too much, instead I'll demonstrate and you'll see what I mean. So let me just measure quickly. That's 132 yards, which is just about my pitching wedge distance. Now, as you know, a full swing with the shorter clubs is probably one of the easiest shots in the game. So I definitely expect to hit the green from here. left side of the green that's okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to imagine i don't have a gap wedge i only have a sand wedge and a pitching wedge and i'm going to hit a ball from the point where i would have to use my sand wedge so you stay here i'm going to run to that point hit the shot and come back and let's see how big the dis the difference is between the pitching wedge and the sand wedge so Okay, that's 90 yards. And let's just quickly hit this ball on the green. Oh, that's close. Slightly right of the flag. So that was over 40 yards dif difference. So if I didn't have a gap wedge, I'd have to do all sorts of things, half swings, slower, and that just does not have to be the case. So you, you might hit the ball further than me, or you might hit the ball shorter. Your pitching wedge might be 90 yards and your sand wedge might be 60 yards. That's still 30 yards difference. And that's a real, real reason to fill that gap.